Hello students, I'm Dr. Arpita De. A very warm welcome to our lecture today. The topic for today's discussion is PR proteins. This is an important part of our plant pathology syllabus. PR proteins are popularly known as pathogenesis related proteins. From the very word itself, you can understand that these proteins play indispensable roles in plant defense mechanism. These are defense related proteins that were first discovered and reported in tobacco plants infected by tobacco mosaic virus. Now, life on earth is always a challenge, be it for a plant, a microorganism, you and I, or any living being. Sustenance of life is always a challenge. A challenge in the sense you will have to face some kind of adversities in your day-to-day -day life. Now, when you are facing these adversities, you will have to overcome them to move forward, to move on. The same concept applies to the lives of plants as well. They will also have to overcome the adversities or challenges that come their way in the form of biotic and abiotic stresses. Now to overcome this particular, uh, these adversities, they will do what? They will keep some kind of weapons ready to fight back and defend themselves. So plants have developed a broad range of complex defense mechanism to fight various forms of biotic and abiotic stresses. Now to fight the stresses, what will they do? They will activate a battery of genes. These genes will encode defense related proteins. These uh, genes will also, uh, these proteins will in turn go and activate effectors, receptors, which will all take part in their defense mechanism. So these pathogenesis related proteins are part of their innate immune system. They are also involved in hypersensitive responses or systemic acquired resistance. So PR protein is one of those weapons the plant often used to prevent pathogen invasion. Now what is so special about this PR proteins or pathogenesis related proteins? These Pathogenesis related proteins are known to possess typical physiochemical characteristics. They are low in molecular weight. They are protease resistant. That means what? They can resist proteolytic cleavage and can well survive acidic changes. Where do they occur? They are found in cell wall vacuolar compartments and intercellular spaces. Production of PR proteins in uninfected parts of plant can prevent the affected plants from further infection. This is something to be noted. These PR proteins, they not only accumulate in the locality of infection, but they also accumulate in remote tissues. So it gives the plant a very strong overall protection. The protection that they give, that they provide is not only restricted to the infected area, but is also there in those parts which are not yet infected. So, we can understand its importance. How indispensable are these PR proteins in plant defense? PR proteins play a very, very important or vital role in disease resistance. They also 
in play a, an important role in seed germination and adaptation to environmental stresses. Envi adaptation to environmental stresses and disease resistance in a way go hand in hand. To adapt well in an environment, you should be strong enough to fight back stresses or diseases. If you are well adapted to a place, to an environment, you can defend yourself in a better way. On the other, if you take it the other way around, by having a strong defense mechanism in your body, you can, by virtue of that itself, you can adapt very well in a given environment. So these two points go hand in hand. Now here is a list of uh, pathogenesis related proteins. I would request you to learn up at least five of them. If you can learn up the whole list, there is nothing like it. But at least five of them would be good if you know. So in a nutshell, it can be said that these proteins have antimicrobial activities. They are low molecular weight proteolytic cleavage resistant proteins found in vacuola compartments, intercellular spaces in cell wall and are, uh, and are known to play indispensable role in plant defense. Okay, this is a very small part of your plant pathology syllabus and I hope you have enjoyed the lecture. If you have any doubt or any question, please feel free to get back to me. Comment in the comment section to get your doubts cleared. Hope to see you soon in our next video lecture. Thank you.